Aloha, I'm Congresswoman Maisie Hirono, and I represent all of you in Congress, the 2nd Congressional District. And it's certainly my privilege to serve you in Washington, D.C. I'm running for re-election, and I want you to know that I'm very, very focused on jobs and the economy, particularly because I know that our families are having a hard time. And I want to be sure to be there to help our working families and uh, really to pay attention to the needs of the folks here. That's what it's all about for me. Do you think that stimulus funds have been put to their best use? And if given the opportunity to infuse more stimulus funds here on Maui, what areas would be a priority? The stimulus funds uh, brought over $1 billion to the state of Hawaii. And here's the state of Hawaii that's $1.2 billion in a budget shortfall. So there's no question that a billion dollars to provide jobs, to protect jobs for our firefighters, for our teachers, uh, that, that was really important. A bunch of that money, maybe about $240 million, went for infrastructure. And really on Maui, on Molokai, on all the islands, the stimulus money went to repair bridges, our highways. That's you know, jobs on the ground. And I think at a time when people are still so worried about jobs and the economy, the stimulus uh, bill was a really important part of helping Hawaii. And I think we need to do more. And I'd like to provide even more support for infrastructure for Hawaii because when you're driving around, you know that our roads need to be fixed, our bridges still need to be fixed. We have all kinds of infrastructure needs on Maui. We have water infrastructure needs. These are all areas that I think the federal government could do more to help. And that's not only economic support for Hawaii, but jobs. Drought conditions in the islands continue to pose a problem both for firefighters as well as farmers and ranchers in the islands. What can be done at the federal level to support fire suppression efforts and the agricultural industry? Well, as you know, the Secretary of Agriculture, Vilsack, determined that the entire state of Hawaii was a, a drought uh, situation. And that uh, opens the door for our farmers and others to get some federal aid. And I, I know that um, you have been reached out to, and, and there are people here from the Department of Agriculture that you can contact. At the same time, we know that over the long term, we need to develop um, sources of water for agriculture, for firefighting, all of that. And I think that requires a long-term approach, uh, such as, uh, you know, I met with the mayor and she wanted my help to uh, have um, reservoirs established in upcountry to help the farmers there. So there are various kinds of long-term solutions that we have to work together on, and I will do everything I can to bring federal support to those kinds of long-term projects. The next question is in regards to the Akaka Bill. What are your thoughts on the recently revised Akaka Bill, and do you foresee its passage in the near future? The Akaka Bill has passed the House three times, and I was an original co-sponsor of it in the two years that it most recently passed the House. It's a very important measure. It is in the Senate. I have high hopes that this time the Senate will be able to muster enough votes to pass it. And we now have a president, President Obama, who has said that he will sign that bill into law should it pass. And his uh, department or his, his administration has worked very closely with us on the House side to uh, draft as strong a language as we can to support the Akaka bill. Uh, when uh, President Bush was uh, in office, he said that he would veto the Akaka bill. I think this is uh, the best chance we have of getting that bill passed to enable Native Hawaiians to begin the process for themselves as to what sovereignty could look like for them. Uh, it's important because until federal recognition of Native Hawaiians, in my view, every Native Hawaiian program including OHA, including Kamehameha Schools, will all be subject to constitutional challenge. And that would be a, a, a tragic uh, misuse of resources to fend off these challenges. I am a very strong supporter of the Kaka Bill. I'm glad that uh, some language appear, appear to have been worked out to uh, garner the governor's support of this bill. So uh, I'm keeping my fingers crossed that it will pass the Senate this time. And any final closing thoughts, anything that I didn't ask that you'd like to touch upon, and also some contact information for the constituents? There's just so much that uh, 
that needs to be done. And, and as I said in the beginning, I've talked with so many people here. They're concerned about their jobs. They're concerned about the economy. And that's why my primary focus is on that. But let's face it, over the long term, what's really going to strengthen Hawaii is uh, educational changes. And I have been working very hard as a member of the Education and Labor Committee in the House of Representatives to focus on how can we make sure that uh, all of our students graduate from high school. Because if you don't graduate from high school in this environment, it is going to be really tough to get a job and to support yourself and your family. So graduating uh, is really important. We need to turn around low-performing schools. I have been a national advocate for quality early education because when a child has quality early education experience, that child is much readier to succeed in school and in, in life. So as I said, I am a national advocate for quality early education. There's so much we can do to enable our kids, our keiki, to truly be able to um, achieve opportunities in life through educational changes. And uh, I, I'm very, very committed to that. And I visit schools and teachers all across my district every time I come home. Many, many other things we can do. And of course, regarding the campaign, you can just uh, go on my website, I'm Maisie Hirono for Congress. You can Google me. You can tweet me. There are so many different ways that you can contact me. And of course, uh, on the congressional side, I'm, you know, I am your member of Congress. So just uh, come to my website, hirono.house.gov. Aloha.